And yet, it seems to me that if you actually pay attention to what goes on in classrooms, there's something really strange that is going on, which is most classes teach no job skills. Most classes teach no job skills. So right now, I'm in the 35th grade. I have not been out of school since I was five years old. And it is almost impossible for me not to notice. You sit down in a classroom, the professor or teacher goes and talks about something that virtually no job on earth requires you to know. Right, so some obvious example, history. Right, what jobs require knowledge of history? Let's see, history teacher, history professor, writer of history books, and then, all right, what else, what else? A politician, no, you probably could be a politician without knowing much history, knowing, knowing very little, and after that, well, I can't think of any job that really requires knowledge of history, and yet how many years did you sit in a classroom hearing about history? Uh, a very great number. If you got anything like mine, I don't know, maybe eight years of, uh, eight years of coursework studying history at least, or, and then start going down the list of other subjects that you are expected to learn. Uh, so foreign languages. Right now, if the foreign language is English, then there probably is a payoff. But for most Americans, uh, to learn a foreign language has almost no career benefit because virtually no jobs in the United States require knowledge of foreign languages. Right? And if you go to, and even if you say, well, maybe I'm going to go and work abroad. You want to work abroad? Wow, they all speak English. Uh, I try to speak the foreign language to them that I studied in school and learned very poorly, and instead they respond in English, and before you know, we're all talking English and having a great time. Right? <laughs> so foreign languages and seem to very, very much pay off. But advanced mathematics, how many jobs use, use advanced mathematics? Well, more than use history. That's right. More jobs use advanced mathematics than use history, but still. So trigonometry. I mean, let's see, how many jobs require knowledge of trigonometry? So maybe, maybe some engineering, a few others. Uh, just not very many. I have a Russian colleague when I told him, you know, Ilya, most Americans who study calculus never use it in their jobs. And he's like, oh, calculus is very useful. It's like, in a few jobs. <laughs> but most people study it will never have a job where, where calculus is required. Like, what are these jobs? Like, like almost all of them. Like, you know, tell me the ones where you do use calculus. Uh, they're, they're, they're very rare. Right. Right. And you go, to go, to, go down the list, uh, you know, other classes you may, you may have in college, philosophy. Right, philosophy where, let's see, a philosophy professor, uh, you might use the job, let's see, philosophy high school teacher. Uh, hmm, if there were high schools that had high school philosophy courses, and, you know, I guess there may be a few. And after that, what are you going to be, a like, popular philosopher? Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> not a lot of jobs that use that. And even if you want to look at subjects that on the surface appear very useful, it's striking how much time you spend doing things that are not useful in those courses. So you, take, take English, you, know, take, you study English. English is useful. And then what do you study in English? Shakespeare. We study the English language that existed many hundreds of years ago, as it is not used any longer. All right, so and then what is exactly is the point of that? It's like, well, if you learn how they conjugated verbs in Elizabethan England, then you truly understand your own language and will be better at conjugating. Yes, uh, either that or maybe you should study conjugation of actual current English. Maybe that would be a better way of learning the subject at hand. All right, so, and then when I look at, say, kindergarten, and then, wow, they teach art. Yes, my, my kids are very depressed because they're not very good at art. And I say, you know what? I'm going to let you in on a secret. You don't need to know art. <laughs> you can live a very full life <laughs> without being good at drawing. I say, take me. <laughs> I can't draw anything, and yet I've had a fine life. And your mother, too. Uh, she's good at drawing, but she does not have to draw in her job. You know, and, you know, say, on the other hand, you know, imagine what it would be like if you were not very good at reading. That's actually tough. Right? That does limit your options if you're not so good at reading. All right, so you, you take a look at the courses that you have spent, and Ian, every person in this room is an expert on this. Every person in this room has spent at least 10 years in school of some kind. I guess there's some homeschoolers, so hopefully you do not spend so much time in useless stuff, but it wouldn't surprise me if you did, <laughs> right? Especially if you have to pass some state tests in order to continue to be allowed to homeschool. Uh, then you really need to continue learning stuff that isn't very useful. Okay, so most, class, most classes teach no job skills. Now, at this point, many libertarians would be tempted to say, well, of course, government is in charge, they are government's inefficient, they make people learn a lot of stuff that's useless, but there's a puzzle. Look, if it's really completely useless, why is it that employers care? Right? Because on the one hand, you sit in school studying mind-numbing subjects that appear, that appear to have no practical application, and right? you may even remember every now and then you have a class where there was a smart aleck who raised his hand and said, what does this have to do with real life, teacher? And the teacher would give a pitying look, say, one day you'll see how important trigonometry is in daily life or trigonometric identities, <laughs> right, to say something that's especially unuseful. Okay. So it seems awfully strange. On the one hand, it looks useless. On the other hand, the market is rewarding it. So many libertarians would say, well, I guess 
foreign languages are useful somehow or other, not that you actually need to be able to speak them to do the job, but somehow foreign languages are useful because the market would not reward it if the skill were not, in fact, desirable. Okay, so we take a look at the world and we see that employers appear to be paying a large premium, to, large premium to people who study subjects that are unrelated to their work. And this is often truly pathological in that you could be, say, one Aristotle class short of your bachelor's degree and someone will not consider you for a sales job. Like, hmm, if only, I mean, the person probably is figuring that you need to understand Aristotle's metaphysics in order to sell stuff. <sighs> probably not. 